actually let me see that whether all the students are present or not You can read from the uh, page that a bearing is an angle. Basically, if you are talking about bearing, it is pertaining to angles. Measure clockwise from the north direction. Okay, measure clockwise from the north direction. It means whenever you are taking bearing of a certain point, I'll explain you inshallah in the course of this. Okay, so basically, whenever you are talking about bearing, it must be from the north. A bearing is an angle measured clockwise from the north direction, or a bearing measure the movement of an angle in a clockwise direction and always on the north line i'll explain you inshallah with the help of the diagram first of all as for the definition is concerned you can see this the bearing of a point is the line joining the center of the compass through the point measure in degree in a clockwise way from the north direction okay i'll explain you that what is the meaning of north direction what is the meaning of clockwise measurement okay and a bearing is used to represent the direction of one point relative to an other point these are the basic things which you can uh, remember when this recording will be available to you, you can also write the same things from the recording. Okay. So instead of uh, giving you time to re rewrite it, you can see the recording again to write this. Use of bearing. Why bearing is used? In navigation, bearings are used to express something about direction. For example, you know that in submarines or in naval ships, etc., the bearing is used to see the direction of the other ships, etc., or uh, building, building or submarine. It is also used to express in angle a particular landmark. Okay. Well, there are three characteristics of bearing you must remember. Whenever you are doing bearing, you must remember that number one the basis of a bearing is at north direction it means whatever the angle we are measuring in the case of bearing it must be must be measured from the north remember this it must be measured starting from north number two it is always measured clockwise so we have to measure in the clockwise direction number three it is written in three digit angle three digit angle for example if you you have a bearing of seven degree so you are not going to write seven degree you must write zero zero seven degree if you have 25 degree so you will write zero to five degree if you have 137 so it will be written as it is because it is already in three digit so bearing is written in three digits well now let us see that what are the meanings of this definition which we have done i am going to explain this further that what is basically the meaning of north and measuring with reference to north now here i have a page i am going to draw north south east etc these are the directions which i am going to draw here i have drawn this 
this direction i am taking as north this is west this is east and this is obviously the south direction okay now if you are standing here at point p you are standing at point p now there is a person who is at point a there is a person who is standing at point a one by one i'll discuss inshallah different locations so don't worry about it just concentrate here for the basic concept of the bearing okay there is a point a now if this person is uh, looking at north like this the person's face is towards north now to look at a how much he has to turn his head now you can see that this p is the location of the person who is standing here at p now he is facing at north now how much he has to turn his face to look at a so basically this clockwise direction measure now i am looking at uh, please concentrate that i am measuring in clockwise direction so i have to see that from my north when i was looking at north now i want to turn my face towards a then how much angle i have to turn to look at a so this angle which i have turned to look at a so this angle is called the bearing so i can join this line between p and a to measure this angle because you know that whenever you are measuring angle you must be uh, given with two lines between which you are going to two intersecting line between which you are going to measure the angle please observe it again if you are looking at north now there is a point a here if you want to look at point a you have to turn your face towards a so this angle basically you have turned to look at a so this angle is called the bearing of a from p listen to my wording very carefully this angle basically for example for example this angle is uh, say 55 degree so bearing of a from p i am writing here bearing of a bearing of a from p because you are standing at p and from p you are looking at a so bearing of a from p is 055 degree it mean to look at a you have to turn your face 55 degree from north you have to turn your face to see a 55 degree from north it mean i am turning my face in clockwise direction okay well now let us have an ex another example there is a point b which is here now if a person has to look at b how much he has to turn his face he has to turn his face 90 degree and then he has to turn himself to look at b so if he want to turn in clockwise direction to look at b what he has to do he has to turn himself i don't know that whether you can turn your uh, head or turn your neck such a great angle if you can do this it's up to you but i think so you completely have to turn yourself while standing at a point you have to turn this much angle to look at b now observe that this again that your face was at north now you want to see at b so you have to turn yourself this much angle this much angle to look at b you have to turn this much angle to look at b so this angle will be the bearing of b from p for example say this angle is 
125 degrees. Suppose this angle is 125 degrees. So you will write that bearing of B from P is equal to, now let me draw this line also, because bearing of B from P is 125 degree. Now, let, uh, in the same way, let us see another example. There is a point C, which is in the fourth coordinate. Now, what we have to do? Obviously, we are not going to move in this direction. We have to take a full turn. We have to take a full turn to reach at, to look at C, okay? Remember, as I told you, that bearing is always in clockwise direction. You have to move in the clockwise direction starting from north. It means if you want to look at C, what you have to do? You have to turn in clockwise direction like this. As you know that in the first quadrant, it is 90 degree. Here it is 180 degree here to 70 degree and here it is 360 degree. Now you have to see that what obviously this is a reflex type of angle at the very great um, like more than 180 etc. It is a reflex angle. Now what you have to do to look at uh, to look at C you have to turn this complete angle. Okay. Say for example for example, now, now look at this carefully. For example, this angle is uh, say 50 degree. As you know that if you are starting starting from north, from north this is 90, this is 180, this is 270, then 270 plus 50. So bearing of C from P is equal to 270 plus 50 degree. 270 plus 50 degree because this angle starting from north till here is 270 and then this angle is 50 degree will be added to this and it will be 320 degree. Well, I hope that the basic concept of bearing is uh, clear to you that what we are going to do in bearing. Now, let me tell you another very important rule that if you are looking at north, then bearing of north is zero, zero, zero. We are not going to write down single zero. We have to write down triple zero if you are writing the bearing. Or the bearing at north is 360 degree. Zero, zero, zero or 360 degree. Remember this. Now the bearing of east from north is 90 degree and bearing of south from north is 180 and bearing of west from north is 270 and bearing of north from north obviously is zero degree zero 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 degree or 360 degree these are the basic facts which must be remembered while solving the sums relating to the bearings now another thing let us have some examples we are going to consider some examples related to this i am going to draw a figure for you you have to see that what I am going to do. Just wait. Okay, now you can see that suppose there is a point A here. This is the point P. And uh, suppose this angle is given 30 degree. Now you people are required to find out bearing of bearing of A from 
P. Very good, Aisha. You have replied me earlier. Let me see what the question students are putting. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, there's a question from the student. Let uh, one people uh, one student is asking me that why did you do 270 plus 50 in the previous case? Let me explain you first of all this thing. Uh, please, uh, guys, look at one student is asking okay, why I did 270 plus 50. Look at here, watch it. As I told you that bearing is measured from north, this angle was given. I told you that, for example, I told you, for example, this angle is given. For example, this angle is given, which is 50 degrees. I told you that bearing is starting from north. From if we are starting from north, then first of all, you have to starting 90, 180, then 270. And what is this angle? 270 plus 50. So that is why I did 270 plus 50 degree. So 270 plus 50 gives you 320. I hope you will understand, inshallah. Well, now consider this point A, whose angle with uh, east is given 30 degree now bearing of a from p basically i told you that you have to start measuring angle from this so you need to know this angle not this angle but with the help of this angle you can find out this angle as i told you that bearing is always measure start measure from north okay so from 90 if you subtract 30 because you know that in this quadrant the total angle is 90 degree from 90 if you subtract 30 so it will be 90 minus 30 gives you 60 but remember i have i am looking at you your answers it must be 0 6 0 not 60 only whenever you are writing bearing it must be in three digits okay well i am considering another point suppose these are the examples which i am giving you for the sake of convenience suppose you have a point b this point B has angle of 40 degree like this. Okay. Now you have to find out bearing of B from P. This language is very important that which bearing you are going to find out and with reference to which angle you are going to find out. Okay. Well, bearing of b from p well let me know the answers of the question uh, from the students well what is the bearing of b from p okay uh, very good arij you have replied me any other student then i'll reveal the answer inshallah very good okay okay well one student uh, has also given me the answer okay very good okay 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 someone has given me 50 someone has given me 140 someone has given me 225 someone is giving me 70 and uh, let us see that which is the correct answer and one or two students gave me 130 so so many choices i have to choose the correct answer now let me reveal the correct answer and the reason well guys now the correct answer as i told you that you have to start measuring uh, bearing from north so if i'm starting measuring angle from north so this total angle is required starting from north till this line which is joining P and B. This total angle was required. As you know, till east, the angle is 90. Till east, the angle is 90. After east, this is 40 degree. So this is 90 plus 40 is equal to 130 degree. So those who were giving me 130, they are right. And uh, Okay, very good. Okay, someone uh, told me that he was taking 45 instead of uh, 40. Okay, it doesn't matter. But you must remember that we are starting from north 
from north till east this is 90 and 90 plus this 40 okay well let me give you another example let me give you another example suppose i have a point c which is lying here this is a point c please uh, look at very carefully this is a point c which is lying here this angle is given say 20 degree well now my question is that what is the bearing of c from p let me seek the answer from the students okay one student has given me very earnestly b from p does it? yes uh, someone has asked me that you have written b from p or a from p yes it does matter bache a from p b from p because we are standing at p it does matter because we are taking the direction of a b or c when we are standing at p that is why it matters tomorrow's class for the next in the next class i'll explain another thing uh, uh, in the, regarding this first of all you must remember it matters that you are taking the bearing of a b or c it means you are going to find out the measure of the angles of a b and c when you are standing at p it does matter now let me seek the answers of the first question well students are writing uh, different answers someone is writing 160 150 110 180 160 etc okay well now let me reveal the correct answer uh, okay still someone is writing 180 well guys as i told you that you have to measure uh, the angle starting from north so from north if you are saying look at my pencil very carefully you have to measure the angle from north starting from north till the line joining p and c this this total angle is required look at this line i need to know this complete angle okay so starting from north till east it is 90 but i am not given with this angle i am not given with this angle instead i am given with 20 so you know that total angle is 180 out of 180 i can subtract very easily 20 so it will be 180 minus 20 so remaining will be the bearing of c from p so actually you are required to measure this angle actually if you have done uh, class 7 uh, then in class 7 i hope that you might have learned that how to find out the angle for example let me give you an example for example if here this straight line is giving you 180 degree and this angle is 20 degree then what will be this angle obviously from 180 you will have to subtract 20 to get this angle this angle will be 180 minus 20 which is equal to 160 degree so the same thing i did here the total angle was 180 out of 180 i subtracted this and we were finding out this angle so the same thing same idea whatever you have been doing in your primary classes in class five six or seven i think so you might have done this practice i hope you have done that practice well let us have another example i am taking a point d here now look at very uh, with full concentration please may i am writing p again well joining this p and d suppose i am given with this angle it is 54 degree suppose this angle is 54 degree now my question is again the same that what is the bearing of d from p well let me seek the answers of the first from the students what they say about this okay okay very good very good okay few students are giving me 214 234 
234, 214. Okay, let me see that. Let me reveal that what is the correct answer. Someone is emphasizing that 234 must be the answer. Okay, many students are uh, in the uh, in the opinion that 234. Some student is saying 216. Okay, what if we need to find bearing of B from A? That will be discussed later. Somebody has writing that what if we are finding the bearing of B from A? That will be discussed also. First of all, let me understand that. Let me explain you the basic ideas. Okay, then inshallah, we are going to do those also. Okay, now let me reveal you the correct answer. Bearing of D from P. Actually, I told you again, I am explaining you that you have to measure this angle starting from north and ending at D. Starting from north, this complete angle is 180. 180 plus 54. 180 plus 54 degree. 180 plus 54 degree gives you 234. Now, those who were giving me the answer 234, they were right. I don't know why students were giving 214 or 324 because you know that you have to measure total angle starting from north 90, then 180, and then 54 will be added to it. Now let me give you another example. For example, I have, have a point E. E is a point. Let me write it again because I have to draw a line here. Well, there is a point E. This angle say I am given with 15 degree. This angle is 15 degree. And you know that this is 270 degree. Till west, starting from north, total angle is 270 degree. So bearing of E from P. Very good. Students have already replied me. Okay, okay. Now, uh, now I found that every answer is correct answer. One answer is wrong only, I think so. The rest of the answers are correct. There was only one wrong answer, I think so. Let me see that who replied. Okay, okay, I think so. That student who replied the wrong answer, he might have miscalculated. Otherwise, rest of the students are giving me the correct answer as i told you that bearing from north till this point e you have to measure this complete angle starting from north 90 180 and till this till 180 we are aware but we are not aware of this angle so what we have to do we have to subtract from 270 minus 15 270 minus 15 so while subtracting Okay, very good. That student has corrected the answer to 55 degree. Because we have to measure angle starting from north till this point E. Now, I hope that you people are aware of this, that what we are going to do in the next, inshallah. That, let me give you another example. Okay. That page has become very messy, so I am using another page. Well, now again, I am giving another example. I e point say this is a point F, this is north, and suppose we are given with this angle, say it is 25 degrees. So what we have to do, we have to measure from north till this. So let me seek the answer. Okay, okay. Students are telling me the correct answer. Very good. 
very good all of them are giving correct answer except one student okay let me see that which is the okay okay well there is only one student who is giving me a wrong answer and that is the same student who was giving me the wrong answer in the previous case otherwise the rest of the students are also the same please which you also think that why you are giving the wrong answer just there is one student i am not naming that a student okay otherwise rest of the students are giving me the correct answer okay as i told you that you have to start from north from north till east it is 90 then 180 then it is 270 270 plus 25 so bearing off very good now uh, that student has also corrected bearing of f from p from p is equal to 270 plus 25 because starting from north if we are measuring this is 270 till this point uh, till till west it is 270 and 270 plus this 25 so that is why 295 degree will be the pairing well let us have another example let us have another example i have a point e f g say this is the point g this is the point p now bearing of g from p we are going to find out suppose if we are given with this angle suppose it is 35 degree so now bearing of g from p well okay very good very good all the students are giving me correct answers okay let me find out any wrong answer but alhamdulillah all of you are right those who are replying me all are giving me the correct answers okay there is no wrong answer here very good good bacha now i all of you are right well i am waiting for any wrong answer sir please reply all of you i am waiting for wrong answer all of you are right yaar please anyone who can give me the wrong answer okay okay very good bacha one student has deliberately given me the wrong answer thank you so much okay well so now you can see that you have understood that from north you have to measure this total angle so bearing of this this will be 360 minus 35 degree so it is 325 degree very good bache all of you have understood the basic idea now in the next lecture next uh, class inshallah uh, we will do uh, that how to find out the bearing uh, of f from p or g from p or uh, uh, let me tell you that what we are going to do in the next lecture next class in in this class we were finding out the bearing of a b c from p in the next class inshallah we have learned that bearing of p from a bearing of p from b bearing of p from c or bearing of p from d e etc points so we will see that how to find out that bearing uh, we have almost two point something minutes so in the meanwhile let me give you a precise idea of the same that how we are going to do that so that you must be have a clue of that for example you have a point p here this is a point a here and the angle is uh, suppose i'm giving this angle this is suppose it is 65 degree this is north if i ask you that bearing of bearing of a from p you will very easily can reply me that what is the bearing of a from p 
okay someone has given me the wrong answer but it is very easy that you have to find out this angle not this angle because you have to start measuring from north bache remember do remember you have to start from north you are not going to give me this answer those who are giving me this answer that is wrong start from north till this line okay so starting from north till this line it is 65 degree it is very very simple 0 65 degree okay well now if uh actually one student is giving me 90 minus 65 is equal to 25 the basic idea please get the basic idea you have to take this angle now why for example take another example those who are giving me 25 some uh, few students are giving me 25 that why it is uh not 25 uh how many minutes more than okay then a let me complete if if it was this angle for example if this angle is given then we have to do bearing of a from p is equal to 90 minus 30 this is equal to 60 degree time is getting over so inshallah in the next class we will continue with this this is 90 minus 30 but it is actually this angle is required to find out this angle okay we always have to move from north till this okay this angle is